What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mike Sasser here of Sasser Stills Boudoir. Today we are in Hawaii with Carrie. She's gonna be helping us out today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about autofocus settings. So the autofocus settings that I use for portraits for boudoir, the ones that I recommend that you guys use. And uh, we're gonna do it here in this beautiful spot. Ready? Yeah. All right. So this video was going really, really well. And I was gonna explain the common problems people face with autofocus. That's perfect. And then I got a little water on my feet. Which didn't seem so bad at the moment, didn't really throw me off, but I, uh, I didn't really realize that... Oh, there's another big one! Oh. As you can see by the video, I was, I was pretty flustered by almost getting thrown into the ocean. Oh. It looked like it was just gonna be a something fun, and then... It was like I was a baby learning to walk. <laughs> so I totally forgot to record the common mistakes people make with autofocus. So we're gonna do that here in LA. And that's, it's cute when it's a baby, but as adults, it's not as cute. All right, guys, take two. We did this whole thing and I plugged the microphone into the wrong spot, so we're gonna do it again. Video is fun. <laughs> again, I'm gonna be using the Atomos Ninja to record everything that you guys can see in here so you can see all of my settings. Hopefully that helps you guys out. So what we're gonna talk about are the common problems that people face, some of the common mistakes that people do when they're using autofocus in their cameras. These are mistakes that I made uh, very, very often, even until about the last year and a half when I kind of figured out my system. But the first thing uh, that people do is they shoot on single autofocus. So that is AFS on your cameras. As you can see located on the left, AFS, which means when you push and hold down and it stops, um, it means that as you move back or forward, it's just, it's just gonna hold that focus kind of wherever you point it, which can be really helpful for this idea of focus and recompose. But for portraits, sometimes it doesn't work as such. So let's, uh, let's do an example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus here on Talia. She's gonna smile into the camera, give us big cheesy, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna focus. And as we recompose, uh, just shoot down her, you can see that her eyes start to go out of focus. That's because the way the camera works is uh, the focus, there's a plane. So straight, uh, straight out from this is gonna be a line, straight up and down if the camera is pointed horizontal. And then as you tilt the camera, the plane is going to change too. Maybe Talia hasn't moved in distance from the camera the plane of focus has. The second scenario that will happen is if your uh, client moves a little bit while you're taking pictures. So you can, even if you set the focus point, we're gonna set the focus point up here to where her face is. <laughs> and we and we focus it and she uh, she just is kind of like playing with her hair. She leans forward a little bit. <laughs> Perfect, okay, so already she's out of focus as, as there's a little bit of movement. So this can make it really difficult if your client is moving at all. And one of the easiest fixes is to switch to continuous autofocus, AFC, which is what I use mostly. But even still, there are some caveats that go along with this. So the first is that you actually really have to put the focus point on whatever area that you need in focus. If you just put it in the middle, you can see that her face is, <laughs> you can see that her face is out of focus because it's focusing kind of in her shoulder area. Even though I've, I'm composed the way that I want it to be, it's not getting her actually in focus. So you actually have to move this to, there we go, that looks great. That's super magical. Smile so magical. <laughs> so that's one of the things that will help with that, but for my full autofocus settings and what I think is best and is really gonna help you guys out the most, we're gonna go back to Hawaii to see what I believe is the correct way to use autofocus with your camera. Okay, so let's talk about autofocus. So when I'm doing portraits, I wanna shoot on the continuous autofocus setting. Now the next level of that, some of the newer cameras, so the Sony A9, A7 III, any of those cameras, the Canon 5D4, the Nikon D850, all of these have facial tracking. So in the menu, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to face detection. We're gonna turn that on. So whenever it sees a face, it's going to follow that face. And typically, I want the faces in focus. So you can also have eye autofocus. So I have a custom button, AEL, that's going to turn on eye autofocus. Show you here, custom key shooting, AEL, you can see there, eye autofocus. So that's what we're gonna use uh, when we really wanna get their eye in focus, and that's the most important thing in the shot. The last autofocus setting that I have 
is the ability to override continuous focus and switch to single focus. And that is set up in this custom key shoot menu. The AF on button is focus standard. And what that means is I can do uh, continuous focus. And then when I want to focus on one thing, I can just push that button. Now it's a uh, single shot focus. I don't have to change out of any menu settings. So that's something that's really nice about Sony that can do that. I know the Canon EOS R has the ability to just tap a button and switch from continuous to single shot. So play around with your camera, see if you can access something like that. But let's go ahead and start taking some shots. Okay, so you can see here face is just tracking that beautifully. If I'm off of it, it's gonna track whatever else it is. So we're gonna come back here to face. Perfect, okay, go ahead. Love that, that's perfect. Take this shoulder and shrug it up a little bit. Yes, I love that. Okay, let's say, uh, let's pretend that you have a ring on in your finger. And so go ahead like this real quick. Just, uh, that's perfect, let's do it with the other hand. So a case where I would want to do something that's not face tracking is if I'm trying to find uh, like a ring or um, some sort of detail on the skin that's not where the face is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push and hold that down so it's gonna lock and then wherever else I want to take this shot, it's going to do it. So let's do that again, we'll lock it. Perfect. I love that. Okay, so we did single shot, we did continuous with faces. Oh, let me show you eye autofocus real quick uh, for when it makes sense to do that. That's perfect out there, actually. If you just wanna turn a little bit. All right, now peeking back at me. Love that, peeking down, that's so good. All right, that's, uh, that's a wrap on the, uh, the instructions there. I mean, that, that covers everything. What I wanna do is I wanna come down here and I wanna take, take a couple of photos. Let's see first if it's safe. Oh, that was so close. I like, it like moved my feet in my slippers. My heart's beating fast. Okay, I think we'll call it on that. That's a wrap. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope that gives you a couple of tips on your autofocus settings for when you're shooting portraits. Remember that uh, face detection, super high quality. If there's a face in the shot, that's usually the thing that you want in it. If your camera has eye autofocus, you can use it. As you saw, I pretty much never use it. And at the times when you want to focus and recompose, or if there isn't uh, a face in the shot, what you wanna do is you wanna do that single point autofocus. Make sure you lock focus and then recompose your shot. So sweet, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. The first thing I do, I shoot wide open. And what wide open means is the widest your aperture can be. So in this scenario, it's at one point. Then you're just gonna shoulder shrug to me just a little bit. And then when you do it, instead of going in this way, you're gonna go in this way, exactly.